Hey guys, it's Ryan from Seniorly, and I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my competition makeup. So I put a headband on. So I don't get makeup, my hair and my makeup and stuff. So I wear one of these. Okay. So first I start with my eyeshadow because whenever I do my eyeshadow, the stuff falls under my eye and I don't like that. <laughs> um, I use Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer on my eyelid and I just put it on both my eyes. I just like blend it all over my eyelids. And then I start my eyeshadow. So I use like, I'll just show you. I use the Jaclyn Hill palette for my eyeshadow. And I use this color, that one, this color, and this one, and this one. So I use like the more lighter color. I use like this like pink color right here all of my eyelid before I put on like the color. I don't really know why I do that. And then, next with my eyeshadow, I take like a fluffy brush like this. <laughs> and then I use this color, and this color, and like my crease with my eyelid. Then you look like you have a black eye. <laughs> And then you do the same thing on the other side. I, I don't like do one eye, finish it, and then do the other one. I do the same so I make sure they're match. So now you look like you have two black eyes. It should look something like this. That looks crazy. But trust me. Okay. Now I use this like orange color and I do it like on the edge. Not like where you just put it. It's like right here, like on the edges. I'm trying to do something good. Okay. <laughs> so then you keep that out. And then I use steel and glitter on my eyelids. Um at five. Okay. So this one really Okay. <laughs> So this isn't usually the shade I use. I usually use like a more white, but this is all I have right now. So I use, it's the same brand, but I use steel glitter and I put it right here in my eyelid. I'll show you. It's the Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. And they have a bunch of different shades. And I use it to like, okay, I use it to like match the shades of my eyeshadow. This one's a rose goldish, which doesn't really match that one, but the other one's more of the other one's more of like a silver, white, pink. It's like a pink, whitish pink. I use that one, but okay, so. Now whenever you use the glitter, you just put it right here, but you stop, like, kind of halfway. And then you take the shape of your eyelid, so like where your eyelid like creases. This one's kind of similar to my eyelid color, so it doesn't look as different. Just kind of fill it in, but you don't go over here. You stop, like right there, and then you do the same thing on the other eye. And then you can go over it as many times as you want so it gets brighter. So that's kind of what it looks like now. And then you can add more if you want later, like as you go on. That's really as much as I use. And then I'm gonna use my palette again, and then I go back with like the darkest shade of pinky red purple and I put it right here so it, there's not like a line there's not like a defined line of where you stop the glitter you just do that and then you're gonna take the um, orangey color that you used and you're gonna put it back like on top of them you kind of just like keep adding colors yeah, 
so then I'm gonna go with that. What I usually do is I take the first color, the first brush I used, and then the first tan color, and I put it over top, like, on my brow line. Yeah, so that's kind of my shadow. It's really kind of simple. I just kind of keep adding, like, kind of adding colors to, like, what I want. So, yeah. Now I use liquid eyeliner, but since I put on eye eyelashes, I don't do the whole wave thing. I literally just put like a line and it looks really bad. But you can't really see it. So I just take any liquid eyeliner you have. Um don't judge. It. But it's really bad. Like really bad. It's just like that. It's just an ugly line. So then you do on the other eye. you have your eyeliner done. I typically let this dry for a second because if you curl your eyelashes after you do this you'll get okay that's what it looks like. So now I curl my eyelashes and then I'm gonna use this mascara you can get at like a drugstore target grocery store yeah so then I curl my eyelashes and then I just put a little bit of mascara on just so whenever I wear my eyelashes it's not like not blended together I need some water okay now that you have that done you look like this this is what you should look like crazy Anyways, now I'm gonna do my eyelashes so I use lavender lashes they're really good lashes, they last forever. I can use the same pair for a season. But I cry a lot, so I ruin them. But these are the eyelashes to use. So I usually curl my eyelashes and brush them before I put them on my eyes so they look more natural. So I you take your eyelash. And then when it's in here, you take a, some sort of eyebrow eyelash brush, spoolie, and I go like this. It's really hard to do because I'm not left handed. You brush them like this, so then it brushes upwards, and then when you're done, you're cold. So then I do this weird thing with my eyelashes, so they shape your eyelid. I like take the eyelashes, and you're like. I use the duo eyelash glue and you just put it on the lash line. Like so. <laughs> and then I blow on it. And then whenever the glue is on it, I do the same weird thing that I did before. Like this. You just move it. You blow. Some people wait for the glue to like fully dry a little bit. I'm impatient. And I just wipe my eyelid in this. Like that. So now you have an eyelash. And then I let it sit there for a second. And then I curl and brush the other one. Which is what we're <laughs> Now both of my eyelashes are on. I take my finger and I squeeze like you have to wait until they like come kind of So then there's no like space. And then I just put this one on. Okay. Then I take the spoolie again and I just brush them up. So they don't look like they're coming down there. Okay, so that's my eyeshadow and eyelashes. So now we're gonna do my face makeup. No cap, lost a cap. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Uh, 
Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay, so now for my face makeup, I start with primer. <laughs> I use the Tasha primer. I'm gonna scoop it like right now. I usually use my Glossier, but this is all I have right now. So we're using this. And it's not even going my face. I used all of my Okay, anyways. Yeah, so you're gonna... I usually use the Glossier. Glossier? Glossier? I don't know how to pronounce it. The Glossy Company. And I, I have the purple one it's like bounce serum or something and then i have the orange yellow one and it's like glow i use those on my face before because they really like soothe my skin and i really like them and i think they're nice um yeah so it's glitter everywhere i have to go with this i forgot so i use the morphe red sponge i wet my sponges because i don't like it when it's dry <laughs> So now I'm going to be using the uh, Born This Way foundation. It looks like this. It's in the shade Sand. This is more of my shade right now. I think for spray tans, whenever I have spray tans, I use the same company. I just use the, I use the shade Golden. That's what I was trying to say. Oh my gosh. So I just put like a few pumps of it on my, I want to call it a forehand, but I also don't want to be wrong. So, I just put this everywhere. And yes, it looks a little dark right now, but when you blend it, it matches. So, don't freak out. It stresses me out getting it right here because of my... Okay, so... This takes me a second. We don't have like a definite line of so people can see that you did that. And then that's all the powder I use because I don't really like that stuff. And then I just kind of wipe it just in case you left some. I don't like set it like others may do. I just kind of put up my face so I know it's there. Okay, next I do my eyebrows. So I use the brow pencil from Benefit Cosmetics. It looks like this. There's other shades that you can use, other shapes. They don't have this. They have a bunch of good eyebrow stuff. And it's double-sided. It comes with the pencil and the spoolie. So I just brush out my eyebrows. Okay, this is how I do my eyebrows. They need to be done. Anyways, I brush all of my hair upward. I take the pencil and I put lines upward like this. I just kind of follow like my hairs and then I'll brush the hair back and see how like the shape looks and then sometimes I'll draw like a line right here and then I'll just keep going like that until I get like the good shape that I want and then I'll take the spoolie and I'll brush right where you did that and then I don't touch this part That's my eyebrow. So then I'll do the same thing on the other side. <laughs> this eyebrow is messed up because, fun fact, I got stitches in my face when I was younger. It was about four years ago. It was my first year. No, if it was my it was my first year at church. Those are my eyebrows. I'm gonna tell a story. I got stitches in my eyebrow because I was riding a scooter and I fell off on my face because I wasn't wearing a helmet. 
and this eyebrow has a huge scar in it. Yeah, so I got stitches in my face and now that eyebrow looks different from this one. It's just a mess. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to use the same brand. It's the Benefit Brow. And it's like this gel. So I'm just gonna use this on my eyebrows. And just like go over what I just did. And then this is whenever I make like the real shape that I want. Because this is how it's gonna stick and stay. You know? Those are my eyebrows. Perfect! We're doing great. Okay. So now, I think I said K like 40,000. Now I'm going to use this brush. It looks the same as the other brush. And I'm gonna use the Morphe bronzer. It looks like this. And I just kind of like put a little bit like under my eyes because of where that powder was. I get really self-conscious because, another story. I, <laughs> it was before I knew how to make it. Oh, I'm putting this like all over my eyes. Done with that. Story time. I'm self-conscious about it now because um, I took a picture at Worlds and I didn't know how to do makeup. It was, I think it was, it was either last year or two years ago, my first year. Um, I took a picture and my flashback was like absolutely horrific and I almost cried and I didn't know until, I didn't like realize that it was such a problem until like a year later when everybody already saw the pictures, so we love that. Anyways, now I'm gonna go in with Hula bronzer and I'm gonna like contour my face. That's what I'm gonna call it. I use this brush from Morphe. It's an M53, okay. An M530, M530. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, gonna go like this. I just like move in a fast circle of motion <laughs> and I stop like right like wherever you smile like if you smile you stop like right there or else you get this like line and then that's what it looks like you just do that until so typically I'll do a lot of this since we're like on stage and I also do my temples is that what it's called your temple okay I'm gonna go like this and I just Kind of like connect it all but i typically do a lot of this when i'm at competitions because like you're on stage and they can't you have to make it like big enough for them to see from the judges table so i don't really have to go that all out right now because there's no judges in front of me but like you get the idea like it has to be like big so then i take the same brush and i like lightly go over my nose like this I don't know his contour, but I like putting it on my nose because I feel like it did something, but I don't really think it did. So, you just want to do enough that you don't look like dirty, unblended sort of thing, but you want to have it enough that people can tell that you have it on. So then after I do that, I take the sponge and I go back over it so it doesn't look like a strip of brown on my face. <laughs> so then after that, I do blush. I do a lot of this too because I'm obsessed with blush all of a sudden and I used to not use it but now I do and I'm really glad that inner older me was like where I need to use this. I'm using this brush from Morphe, it's an E4, it's slanted like this and then this is the um, cheek to chick blush and it looks like this. I don't know if I sell it anymore so I'm just gonna put this, I like smile like this, you just go like this, I put it, mm -hmm. and I kind of like stop, like where my nose is, I kind of put a lot, so you can see it, but not too much that you look like crazy, like that. and then I put a little bit on my nose, oh god, I just take up, oh no, <coughs> oh god, Corona, so much. Stuff. Okay, and then I take the sponge again and I just blend it out so I don't look crazy and unblended. And then I blend it like right here because smile lines. Okay, so this is what you should be looking like so far. I hope I'm doing a good job at explaining it because I'm kind of just going along with it. But now that you look like this, you need highlighter. So I'm gonna be using 
this highlighter and this highlighter. This one is the Ofra Highlight Rodeo something. The word came off of the back. It looks like this. I don't okay. It looks like this. I don't know if they sell it anymore. But this one I do know they sell. It's the Stila Brilliance. And it's like I'm gonna touch it. It's like clay. It's super cool and it works really good. So I highly recommend buying this one. So I'm gonna use this brush to put on my highlighter and this one. So they look like this. So first, I'm gonna use this one. So I use this one first and I smile. I put it like right on the edge of my cheek. And I go up like that. Okay. So then I look like this. So I'm gonna use this brush and I go like this on my nose. I'm gonna go upward like that. And I just keep doing that. And then I put it on my cupid bow. And then on my chin. Then right here on my forehead. Then on my eyebrow. Like right there. Okay. So then I take my sponge again and I blend it out. So I don't want to have strips of stuff in my face. And then I'm done with that one. I take Morphe setting spray. It looks like this. It's really cheap. It's like 12 bucks. And it works really nice. And it lasts a long time. <sighs> I spray my face. And then I do another highlighter over that so that it shines more. I put it in the same exact spots that I did before. And then I spray again. And then I blend it after that with my sponge. Yeah, so then you look like this. You can kind of tell, you can move it. Now I look like this. I have this like wet, circle q-tip thing uh, that's nasty right. clean off my lips before you put on lipstick so now i look human again okay so for the under eye stuff i used my jacqueline hill palette again for the teal under our eyes that we do and I use this little circular, cir circular brush, and I use this. My teals, as you can tell, they're kind of beat up. So I just kind of use kind of both of them, but I use more of that one. And then I just open my eye and I go like this. I'm about to make a really gross face. I want to cover my face. But... Oh god, this is so awkward. It looks like that, and then you can get more, and you can make it darker, like that. So then you look like this, and then you do it on the other side, and it kind of looks crazy, like that. So then you look like this. Um, and then we use glitter, but you can't really tell I have it on, but I'll show you guys anyways. We use these little glitters that we found at Target. They're from NYX. Um, they look like this if you want to go find them. I have the silver one that we put in our corner and then that one we put underneath our eyes. <sighs> Jackson. Um. Okay. I use the NYX glitter primer. It looks like this. That's what we use to glue on the glitter, and then I use these two brushes. This one's for the silver, that's for the teal. So you, I just open it, and it's like sitting on top. So then you put the glue on the top of that, like this. And you just go like this, and tap it like where the teal is, and then you dip the brush in the teal. Put it where you put the glue. So you can't really tell I have it on, but like you can if it's like shining on me. So then you just do the same thing on the other eye. This is amazing. I haven't done this in so long. Okay, so now I look like this. <laughs> and um, now we have to do the inner corner glitter and stuff. So I'm done with that brush. 
I'm done with the teal. So that's the teal under eye that we do. You can get this stuff at Target. And then the teals from here, you can use any other teal. We just use this one because it's there. Um, then I use this little brush and then the silver holog hol holograph. Let me stop. So I put the glue on this brush like this. And then I just put it like, like that. Like that. Can you see what I'm doing? Like this. And then I dip the brush in the glitter. Oh, that was a lot. Like this. And then you just put it right back on here. And it looks like that. Okay. So that's all we do for the teal and the glitter. This is what it looks like. It's pretty. I'm really glad we tried this. I'll move it again. This is what we look like now. Um, that's really it for like my makeup. And then I have my lipstick left. My favorite part. I hate wearing lipstick. But anyways. So we use the Morphe lipstick. It's called Bloodshot. We use dark lipstick. Um, I usually use like other people's lipstick too if it's like not dark enough. So I don't really know how dark this is going to be. But. Oh jeez. I'm so bad at putting on lipstick. Lipstick usually takes me a really long time to do because I'm really bad at doing it. Okay, it kind of looks bad because I'm so bad at lipstick, but this is what it looks like. Now I'm on Senior Elite. So then, <laughs> after we do that, I put on lip gloss. Okay, so we're just gonna use this lip gloss because this is the closest one I have. And we just like tap it on. It doesn't really matter what one is. We just like it when it's like shimmery like this. So that's my competition makeup for Senior Elite. This is what I look like. This is how I compete. Um, I, it's pretty, kind of easy. Just takes practice. Um, then my hair. So for hair, my hair's already curled, so that's good. So we just put our hair up in a high ponytail, curled ponytail. And I'm gonna do that. So I just put my hair up like so like that and then i put in my bow and we have little ties and i like to do this so i put the ties in front and then I just, oh geez this bow is so beat up i can't even do my finger oh crazy oh my gosh okay and then i pulled a hair through Okay, so now the bow is in, and then I flip my head over. So I take these ties and I flip my head over, and I just tie it. So I have extra sturdy bow, and then I bobby pin those like this. Oh, this is making me miss cheer. This is so sad. Okay, so now the bow is in, and then I usually take my brush and I like take these pieces out because I look like a boy. And then I brush my hair. This is when people thought I did my edges. No, this is what I do. I go like this, and I just brush out my baby hairs so I don't look bald. I don't usually hairspray my hair either, which is kind of bad on my part, but yeah. So this bow is so beautiful. Okay, so yeah, this is my hair. This is how I compete. Um, yeah, so that's kind of it. I have lipstick on my teeth. great yeah so this is kind of it this is how I compete this is how I look I hope this helps people because I've been getting questions a lot about how I do my makeup oh I miss cheer um thank you for watching this tutorial on how I do my makeup I hope it helps everybody and if you decide to do it tag me in it tag infinity in it as well because this is on their account yeah so just Tag me and Infinity in it, and then I'm gonna look at it. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Hope everybody's having a blessed time right now in quarantine. Stay positive, healthy. Yeah, so. Bye.